All right. Hello. Happy Saturday to everyone. Um, so coming here the second month of the year, second month of the quarter. Um, we've had a crazy week this past week. A lot of volatility, a lot of things going on. Um, we actually have an even bigger earnings week this week. Um, I haven't, I forgot to actually go look uh, on Reddit and post it. I'm about to do that shortly. But um, we have a, a bigger earnings week this week um, with a whole lot of people reporting and, you know, all of that stuff. We have um, Pinterest reporting, Uber. It's like so many they haven't even listed. Disney, Affirm, PayPal, Lyft, uh, Robinhood, BP. Like, it's it's a whole bunch that's actually reporting on this week. So, yeah, a lot going on with the earnings department. And then Powell is speaking on Tuesday in Washington. Not quite sure if that's going to do anything with the markets. Um, but we are always aware when Powell opens his mouth. So... <laughs> Anyway, um, other than that, you know, besides those earnings, like we, a lot of the really big, big tech earnings are out of the way. So we could kind of maybe see if we can get a solid direction this week or it may repeat last week and be kind of a both direction type of thing, but generally still up. So the bulls are still in the building. They're still buying the dips. Um, I wanted to look at the, how things looked on a quarter since it's the second month of the year and we're starting a new month. So, um, you know, we, we actually started the month on Wednesday, so we won't uncouple until this Tuesday and we can see what time frame continuity is looking like. But you can see here on the quarter that uh, VIX is two down currently um, and still has a little bit more room to go. It can go drop a couple more dollars, which could actually still send the mark the market. Or because it's hit this target, you know, it could actually reverse from here and we could see a reversal on the market, maybe some correction. But generally everything, not everything, but a lot of things have triggered two up on the quarter uh, with magnitude left. So looking at the NASDAQ, you know, once we hit this 12, it's like 12, 200 ish, we triggered the quarterly to the upside. So, um, the magnitude on that is this 13, it's about 13, 700 on the NASDAQ. Um, and then the Russell 2000 has also triggered on the quarter. It still has a little bit of room there. Uh, the Dow <clears throat> is still inside on the quarter. So nothing triggered there, but looking at it on the monthly, it's also still inside on the month. So it's really kind of been sideways for the last four months since it kind of broke out of here. So it broke out of this area and then now it's sitting here. Um, so yeah, that's how it's looking on the month. And you know, even with the month starting, this could still trigger to the upside. So we're kind of in the middle right there. It's a doji. So no real decision right there. But the Russell 2000 has 2-2 two -two continuation. Um, could still go a little bit more. The NASDAQ has hit this first target, which is why it's probably pulled back. Um, but notice that it's above the EMAs currently on the month. And the VIX is below. So the VIX is still in this downtrend. So as long as it continues in this downtrend, we can, you know, expect the market to continue up. And even the EMAs are pointing down and everything on the month. So that's pretty strong. Looking at how we are doing on the week, it's kind of the same, the two, two continuations. There's no actionable signals here um, for any of these on the weekly. <clears throat> Except the Dow, if it decides it wants to reverse, maybe a possible rev strat there. Um, but looking at how they are looking on in relation to their 200, we know the Dow has been above it, still above it, staying above it, holding strong. Um, 
It almost looks like an inverse head and shoulders. So this is the shoulder area. Continue to chop in um, where it's kind of been for. Yeah, so the, remember I said for a few months it's been chopping there. This is that area. It fell a little bit below and then now it's back. Just like a classic head and shoulders. So, um, and then the Russell 2000 has broken above its 200 and holding. The NASDAQ has finally broken above it. Last week when we were looking at it, it was sitting right there. Um, so now it's broken above and we can expect it to try to make it support unless it dies from here. But uh, the next support I would see would be that that 200 on a daily. And of course, like we said with the VIX, you can just kind of see the downtrend it's been in. Has little pops, but for the most part, it's in a downtrend and under the 200. So that's those. And then looking at our regulars on the quarter, um, Apple has triggered the outside quarter and it almost hit it. You see the target is 157.50 and they were trying to get it there yesterday, but the I think the bulls got exhausted. I mean, Apple went on a tear. It really went on the tear and then it, it just couldn't quite hit it. So if it does have any more steam, that would be probably our next target um, would be that 157.50 if it can try to get back to that. Um, but SPY triggered the quarter it's come back in obviously because you know everything came back in on friday but you know 411 is the trigger to the upside if it wants to keep going to that 430 we're going to look at that on a bigger screen of course as usual um and the same thing with the cues well before i get to the cues let me talk to about uh microsoft it has not quite triggered the quarter to the upside um, but if it does that will push the cues more um, because they have triggered to the upside but because Apple is you know close to this hard resistance this finishing may be hard because you know let's see if it has if it has the strength to continue basically looking at them on the month since we just you know triggered a new month I had mentioned last week that Microsoft printed this hammer on the month and it had triggered the outside month, but we knew that we only had two days of month left. So I mentioned that it could possibly finish it the next month. Did not think it would do it in a week, but it basically hit that target, um, that 264 target. So um, now, you know, it's hit that target, probably most likely exhausted, just like Apple. You know, um, they both been on pretty much a tear just like the entire market so really interesting to see what it does um now that it's hit its monthly target same thing with the cues it hit its monthly target with the 2-2 continuation um so of course we know that if it continues then you know 333 is our next target there um for spy i mean for microsoft it would be this 295 and of course this is on a monthly if apple can break this resistance then it can see 164 ish and then we'll get to spy in a second but this 431 would be the next monthly target everything is basically two up on a week strong two up so there's no weekly actionable signals here um it would take a lot for them to reverse and then have to give us a two down. So really it's mostly about possibly playing these on, on daily time frames if they give daily strat signals, but there's really no um, weekly signal here. Let's check the two week. We're halfway through these two weeks. Yep, it's the same thing there. So um, looking at them on their dailies, in relation to the 200 and so Apple has broken above well they all have broken above basically and can't really say that they're holding because you know this is really just two days above I have to see what it does this would be obviously the next support which would for Apple is about 147 
looks like a big old inverted head and shoulders and the shoulder area could be all the way from here 142 to 146 only 156 area it's above its 200 though so we just have to see if this holds um, but right now you know the bulls are kind of in control yeah we've had a couple of uh, days where the Bears stepped in, especially on Friday. Nice shooter here on Microsoft, so that may correct at least back to this 200. And then maybe possibly to this EMA here. Um, and the Qs, it's green, but it is a shooter. So if Microsoft corrects, the Qs will probably correct as well, down to this 200. Um, so yeah, we have our upside targets for now. Let's see. Yeah, and see they've even broken above their two hundreds on their on the weeklies. So all right, let's look at spy. Um, oh, that was there. the day. And so yes, again we have a shooter here, but it's green. Um, so if it does continue to correct, then we can expect it to correct here to this, at least to this EMA. Um, next strat target is 402, and then our 200 is down here at 398, 400-ish. So 400 is really the next solid support. I mean, it's above its 200. Y'all know exactly what I always say about that. Now, last time we did, boom far above it and still fell so I am always ready for that but as of now we are up above the 200 and we are holding so um, I would expect any correction to come back down to this area then of course if it does break I mean we this this head inverted head and shoulders did kind of play out with that right there so if anything it may make a it could make a head and shoulders here. This would be the shoulder. That's the head. So I would look for a shoulder in this area. So right around 400. <laughs> so that whole area could be a shoulder. Um, this could make more of a head. You know, there is a gap over here to the left. 421 it could get to and come fill. Um, and then there's that 430 we were talking about on the, I think it was the quarter of the month, that 430 target. Um, so those could be the upside targets if it continues to run. Um, and then, like I said, yeah, the downside targets. And it can even, this whole thing could be a head. And it'll make a shoulder, and it could fall. So... Or it could do like some correction here before it goes up there and then comes down. But as of now, you know, we're going to take what it gives us and it's, it's, it's given bullish, it's given buying the dip. Um, so we will take that until it doesn't. So um, next, let's look at IWM. It's just like the Russell 2000, just like Spy. So you can play it like Spy. But um, yeah, if it continues the 202.28 to the upside, because we are triggered to up on the quarter and it's the 2 continuation on the month. So yeah, it looks like it's going to that 202. Small caps are doing pretty good. So... Bulls are in the building here. No actionable signals. Just buying. And you got a daily one. Oh, that's a shooter, but I mean, it's an either way play, basically. The inside break up into that continuation or reversal.
Oh wait, this is in a supply area. Hmm. It's actually, yeah. Hmm. 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 I don't know y'all where that's at. I have to see if they want to continue to take these folks out. Um, but as of now, I mean, it's all above the 200 on a daily, so I would continue to think that it would continue buying. It's been respecting this eight for the most part. So if anything, it may correct back to it or even down to this 20, the most the 200 and then yeah, or it could make the same pattern as spy and try to make this head and shoulders, um, which the head could take out these folks. And then we have a shoulder. So I always just like to mention it because it's um, small caps. And XLE, actually on the quarter, we're still inside quarter. Inside month, but red. We have triggered the two week um, to the downside. Actually posted this in the premium part of the Discord as a play um, targeting this 83 area um, because it triggered the two weeks. So this is obviously a swing. Um, and Kiki actually called out Zom, um, you know, Zom XLE, and looking for them to take out these targets. So, and get down to here could possibly keep going um, remember we were talking about XLE even though on the year it's a nice broad information here um, but we know that we moved a lot so I was expecting this year to be inside anyway um, and you know that's a, a huge range to be inside so as of now it may be you see how it boomed and then corrected and then boomed and may correct some more so it may be in that corrective phase. So keep XLE on your watch list. May have also topped out there. It's almost a triple top. But with this extra TTO, it's more of a head and shoulders. But yeah, I'm sorry, a triple top. Or M, as my daughter would say. <laughs> so yeah, looking for XLE to continue down. XOXL had an absolutely wonderful week, kind of like all of the chips, the chips were booming. Um, it's sitting at a resistance, but the next target would be 2231 if it does continue to boom. I mean, um, AMD and NVIDIA and all of the chip things have actually been doing really well. They look all the same, see. So, NVIDIA actually looks better, but <laughs> if NVIDIA can break this area here, this is a lot of magnitude there um, if we stay bullish for a while. So, um, but yeah, back to XOS XL, especially if NVIDIA and AMD pull, push, like if also Qualcomm just had earnings. NVIDIA earnings is until the end of the month, I believe. And Qualcomm just had, had earnings. It didn't do too well, but they, you know, if they continue to buy it up, then the stuff will move. So keep S SOXL on your watch list. Um, it's still a nice, cheap play. And then China, the China ETF we've been watching was a night. I actually missed this initial trigger. I did short China this week, um, but I was a little bit late to the party. Um, but it was actually a really nice correction, corrective week. I'm still bullish on FSI in China as long as they stay above their quarter trigger. Um, I do know that they ran a lot. So, and of course, you know, what goes up has to come down. It needs some corrective activity. Like it did this and it corrected for three weeks. Well, four basically couldn't really. Then it just boom. So this may be just week one of corrective activity. You could correct some more, but you know, even on the week it's above its 200. Like I said, as long as it stays above the quarter trigger at um, this, yeah, 29.44, then I will continue to be bullish. Um, 
but yeah it's you know it's already hit its target on a week so it's not really an actionable signal there but it may create one um it could you know do somewhat of a h here and then come down and try for this gap so that'd be right i mean it could wash below the 200 and get to this gap and it may be get bought back up as long as it really you know holds this and doesn't break below it and stay under it then I'll stay bullish on China but yeah China may be a play to continue to fill these gaps that it made see like KWEB it did hit they're hitting in this support but if it does continue there are gaps to the downside that they can target including Baba Bay oh see oh see see how Baba acting up see mm -hmm. this is I called you Bay but yeah there's still more targets to the downside and come correct to this 200 or even wash below to fill this gap and then keep going. But as long as Baba stays above this quarterly trigger, 95-ish, I will stay bullish on Baba for the year. Um, remember, PDD is the strongest out of all of them, um, mostly because it had already triggered the year. But it's come back in and it's, you know, really close to it. So as long as this holds this 93.52, I think this will continue to be um, one of the strongest ones. But it did print a shooter and an inside week. So, you know, watch this to possibly continue. If it breaks this, then that'll break the yearly trigger. Not the quarterly, I believe. Yeah, no, the quarterly 81.44. So, um you know, it can, what was that? I was on the week. It can still correct some more. That's 81. It's down here. Now this is way above its 200. Like, yeah. But there are gaps that it can definitely come for. Oh, yeah. See, it kind of has a pattern. Honestly, it may bounce from here. Now, if it doesn't, though, then, yeah. You can expect it to come and maybe try to take those out. Also, Baidu had actually got um, some big news. Ryan, oh, not Ryan Collins. I think it was BlackRock. Somebody invested in them. So that's why they gapped up and took off. But then, of course, pulled right back in. Um, if you were watching China this week, it was actually a good move on Friday. That was actually when I called it. Like I said, I was late, but um, I did catch the Friday short on it. But Baidu does still have more room to come back down. Um, if it wants to con continue for this gap, it could also gap down and fill the gap. Y'all know how China is, but yeah, if everything corrects, then those are just the China stocks that you know you can look at next week for correction um snow has been doing good i think what was it was it the two week no i don't think well snow has already tr uh hit its first target on the monthly it was on a nice tear it couldn't quite hit the second one before it came back in what was it the weekly it must be the daily I mean, this, it depending on what type of week we have, this could possibly be a 3 2 2 down rep strat because this rejected this 200 a couple times before. And the way it rejected it hard again, maybe time. The last time it did that there it was more of a red um, candle, but then it did do the 2 down. So it may do a possible 3 2 2 reversal on the week. Um, it hit the 200 and couldn't hold. Shooter counters hammer, as Rob would say. Basically a TTL. Oh no, it didn't take them out. Not quite, so. Um, but this is a beautiful shooter. <laughs> Still look at snow for maybe possible correction. So yeah, keep snow on your list. And then PEP, P-E-P, -E was one that Jamal had put on our list 
way back here for the PMG. No, I think it was like back here. PMG. Oh no, it was PG. I'm sorry, it was PG that Jamal had on our list. I was watching Pep because it did this outside week, but it also did this drop and base. Um, and then it has a gap to fill here. So now that it's based, um, if it wants to continue to fall, it's a possible gap fill play. I did an H though, so I have to kind of see what it does, but I do like it for um, possible continuation. 3-2. We had our basically inside base move, so now looking forward to continue the drop. And then MRK is an inside week. So if this wants to continue down, it has a little bit of range. I would target this 98, possibly this 296. Leave not on the daily. And then it's also an inside day. So I know this wick is kind of crazy. So I, I'm kind of not really using it as a target. More so using, you know, history. So of course, this would be my next target to the downside. This 9937. Um, and then I would definitely, I would use that. But yeah, that wick is just kind of. Feel like it threw all the charts off but you have full time frame continuity to the downside already with this so um if anything it may correct up to the emas and then continue because that's that's what it's done before it's come down correct it up to it and then drop so it may try to do that give it a chance to catch up and then drop so keep mrk on your list healthcare has just been kind of uh dropping kiki put that on my radar last week two weeks ago and um it's been doing good as far as dropping and then um we do have a couple of things that have already triggered the outside month starbucks is one of them um because it's so early in the month i've realized that when things trigger them that early sometimes they correct first before they continue but you know it's been on a, a run so if this does a three to to the downside then it will um help move that along <laughs> to the yeah starbucks can do that and it probably take a couple weeks for that but starbucks can easily finish up that outside month um after that move and i believe yeah gap down because of earnings so it's actually after the whole earnings thing so you don't have to worry about inflated IV or gapping up because of earnings or whatever. So it gapped down. If it wants to continue down, there is a gap on the daily to the downside as well, right here at $100. Um, BMY actually triggered the outside month, but it's like almost already there. It's $75. So they had good earnings. Um, we were playing that to the downside last week. I had alerted that in Discord and then um also said that the earnings was the next day so be careful and then it, it just boomed so yeah that was a decent play i did miss this upside run but yeah so that did the outside month um ba has not quite triggered the outside month yet but you know we were been watching it because i'm upset that i kind of missed this four month run <laughs> I did. <laughs> so I said, okay, you know, I'll just, I'll have to catch the reversal. This may be the reversal. It's topped out. It may be exhausted. Um, and then I believe on the week, yes, we tried to do an outside week and didn't finish. So y'all know what I tell y'all about those that they often finish the next week. So, um, can expect this to go to this, finish this 203, 11, and then it may continue to correct some more to the downside um see it kind of topped out it's exhausted so watching ba it's got a gap to fill as well at 190 that could take some time but yeah it may be ready i mean it's had four months of 
green so it can have a month of red <laughs> it can do this outside month to this 193 ish and then it can continue going is that the gap fill oh not quite it may even go just yeah just come fill this gap and then you can keep going if you want <laughs> I'm still mostly uh, bullish on travel and airlines this year I think that that industry is going to do decent um, and again this is also above its 200 so I would only be shorting this for the short term not necessarily and when I say short term I mean a couple of weeks or so not necessarily like oh, it's gonna fall and make new lows I must stay bullish until the charts tell me not to and for the charts to tell me not to that means it has to be under this 200 so another one that's kind of doing the same thing is um, BA is Dollar Tree it hasn't triggered the 50% rule yet, but it has TTO'd and come back in. And the trigger is right around 146. Then we got a shooter on the week. So if it does this two up, two down, it'll trigger the 50% on the month. And you can expect it to finish. The target for that would be 138.15. So it would take out. Yeah, all these folks so well, we're lagging here mm -hmm. we are lagging I'm not sure why it's not loading okay there we go um so yeah so that's Dollar Tree and then same thing for Nike TTO came back in the trigger is 123.33 so it's not there yet but um and we do have a green shooter here but again if it does the two up two down had to trigger the 50 percent on the month and may come back in it has had a run so and then it's had this run and it's had its base so are we gonna rally base drop yep so that is actually all i have for today um Kiki, I know that you said you. I know you at work, sis. So, do you want to? What did you want me to look at? It wasn't it Zom? I think it was Zom. She may not be able to talk, but um, now I'm gonna go check the messages really quickly. Um, but I do know she wanted to talk about Zom. Uh, similar to. You know, XLE and those, they have come back in. Zom just had its earnings and it is it's been making all time highs. So it made an all time high here. One seventeen seventy five. So I believe that's all time, right? Babes? Yeah. Yeah, because one oh five, once we made past that we were doing um psychological targets. So yeah, it's made its all time highs and should be ready to come on down. Got an inside week here. It's red. Um, and then we have a nice shooter on the day. And the EMAs look like they want to cross. If y'all can see this down here. Got a MACD cross. Um, so, Zom may be ready to come down. I believe was it on the two week too? No, not the two week just the weekly so target is 105 if it does the 312 down and then if it wants that wants to be its top out I mean honestly I could on the weekly this could be a shoulder head and we can do a shoulder as long as it doesn't really break above 115 we can shoulder between that and 108 so it may do something like this. Come down, come back up, and then come down. So I'm thinking that it needs to come down to correct to at least about 98. It needs to iron out this area right here. It's moved fast through there. Um, so yeah, I, I expect it to come down to at least $100. Of course, that may take some time, like, like I was drawing it out, but... Um, and I believe, are there any gaps on the day? No. Yep, way back here. 
where price moved very fast. So, Zom to $100. Let me, let me look at it through Kiki Eyes. Mm hmm. MACD, not MACD, the uh, EMAs are crossing here. We got a nice shooter. So we had a drop, the hammer, the shooter, the counter is hammer. We got an inside. So this is a nice trigger for Monday, actually. 2 1, 2 down. And your first target will be that 1, 10. And then that crazy wick. So 108. And then that 105. And then the 4 hour, you got this shoulder head. Still do a shoulder. The same area. And, um, let's see. I cannot find where she told me what to talk about. Uh, oh, okay. I think it was HD. So that was, we talked about this last week. Um, nice inside week up. Hit his target, came back in. So at this point, I mean, it's not really a, well, if it keeps going, actually, we do still have this two week trigger. There's no actionable signal here, but it hit this and came back in. But if it hits this again, for the three, two up, it can still keep going to 347. Yeah, that was the monthly trigger as well. So it hit it, it just couldn't quite finish. Um, and then we had this correction and it filled this gap. It's actually maybe a play on Monday, depending on what it does. Let me look at this on a four hour. And now it gapped down. Hmm. Hmm. This may be good either way on Monday, y'all. Come on. Definitely still come down. I filled that gap already, so hmm. So yeah, keep HD on your watch list because now that it's filled this gap. It does, if it decides to reverse, um, the two up trigger is actually that same two week trigger and the monthly trigger. Um, so if it goes back to the upside, I mean, the first target is still a nice little range, 341. Otherwise, you can expect it to come back down and um, retest these EMAs. So 322, I think. And then maybe 318. If we have a red, red week, um, yeah, I wouldn't expect it to two down as well. Yeah, that'd be a lot. Don't know, though. I'm not sure. And then her other one was AMAT. And she said we talked about this last week. I don't remember talking about this. Probably was just me not remembering. Um... Uh, but it triggered to the upside, 212 up, and it hit its target and came back in, and now it's sitting at the target. So if it continues, there is a little bit of magnitude there. This on the quarter. Oh, we have 3-2 up on a quarter. So the bulls are still in the building. Um, so yeah, magnitude on that is 133-ish. 
133. Big old wick. So, I mean, it's a big old wick here, but if it does 32 up, 129 is the next target, and then 142. Had a little bit of correction here and then it just stopped. So we could still correct back down to this EMA. It's above its 200. This is a nice shoulder, head, shoulder, boom. So nice inverse head and shoulders that went. So I have to see, this kind of almost looks like the spot chart with the thing. So we took these folks out back here and them too. So I have to see what this does. Um, let me look in Kiki's eyes. Hmm. No actionable signal here. Still keep correcting just a little bit. But um to the same inverse head and shoulders, I mean. That's not like a double bottom. W. Um, I have to see what this does. This is looking pretty bullish to me, for the most part. Like corrective activity could definitely be in the works for everything, but a lot of things are above their 200. Which for me, you know, if I'm going to short it, I'm going to short it no more to there before I think that the bulls will buy it up. Um, so, yeah. This definitely could still 3-2 continue. It was a monthly, yeah. I'm probably is going to at least correct here, though. I'm thinking. So, yep, that's all I have. Um, does anybody have any questions? Any stocks they want me to look at? Let me go look in the study time chat. You, know, you can always put them in there if you are not able to unmute. I oh, she said Walmart. All right, so and I'm gonna look, see what it's doing on the quarter course it's inside. So nothing inside month of red shooter. Okay, nice shooter on the week. So we got a possible rev strat here on Walmart. Um, head and shoulders. So at least to this, uh, didn't finish this outside week. So at least to that 140 to finish that. And then possibly this 138. Definitely looks like it's ready to come down. 140, yeah. So the 138 will wash a bit below this 200. Last time it washed below it, it got bought up. So we'll have to see if it, you know, can either take out this low, because since here it's actually making higher, lower, lower lows. I can never say <laughs> at lower highs. So it's definitely in the downtrend, and it actually looks like it's about to make an H. So I would definitely think it's gonna get down to this 138, maybe even take them out. Um, but this would be a strong support first, that 140. You can see it's kind of bounced at 140 several times. So 140 would be the strong support. If it can break that, then that 138. This is an even bigger shoulder head. It's a long shoulder right here, but it's a shoulder nonetheless. So yeah, Walmart may be ready to come down. Let me look at 
kicky eyes on this four hour you do have this hammer so it may correct a little bit uh, just to give entry for a short to come back down because that's basically what it's done um, most times when it comes away from the EMAs and prints a hammer it goes back to it maybe a little above and it comes back down hammer goes back hammer goes back so I'm expecting to do that come up here to maybe this 142 maybe even this 143 and then die again could also not even correct and then just still die. This is still an H. It's just a huge H, but it's an H. It may just, well, more like that. Then you have all of this. So once, you know, if it, this, this 138 area, you come down some more. It's not really a gap on a day, but yeah. It actually might chop in this area once it gets down here. That 140 area may be a tough area to break, so. So yeah, that's what I see on Walmart. Anybody else have any questions? Anything they want to look at? Shots out to Jay. If not, then I'm gonna go ahead on and go. Um, I'm going to be at the Stratapalooza. I'm actually doing that every weekend, unless you know I'm busy for that day. I'll probably be doing that for for the foreseeable future. So it's on Twitter Spaces at 3 p.m. Just like a, a weekly roundup with fellow Stratters. Maybe it's something I saw that they didn't see or vice versa. So, yeah, I love that. And I always extend that to you guys as well. If y'all see something different on the charts that than what I see, you know, point it out to me because I may be looking at something different. Like last week, not necessarily seeing the creation and the confirmation on Spy. So that type of thing. If y'all see it, point it out. Let me know. Great minds work together. But all right. You guys, y'all have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you guys later.